Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video. This one is going to be about my full home renovation. Uh, this was my first home and also my first investment property. And yeah, I'm just going to go through all the before and after photos starting here. So this is the front of the house before you can see a lot going on here. A lot of random ugly stuff down the sides of the driveway and stuff but there's also some good things like the roof is only like five years old and all the windows have been replaced with double glazing prior to me buying the house and then this is the after i put down all the bark down the sides tidied up this front little garden painted the fence put a new light in and this bark here as well i didn't quite get around to painting the front step. I had to finish up pretty quickly and get the house rented out. This is the front yard before. So you can see there's a big tree over on the left, lots of trees overhanging the like the neighbor's property onto mine. And some random little bushes down here. Also a tree off to the side. You can't quite see. And this is the after. Uh, some of the picture qualities aren't the best. Um, this one, I don't have all the photos on this laptop, so I just downloaded them from uh, various places online. You can see this one came from CoreLogic, which I believe they got it from when I listed the house for rent. So yeah, nice stormy day. But I had uh, removed most of the trees out here. There's only the two trees left, one in each corner. Big one's gone, obviously left some damage in the grass here. But I filled it up with some topsoil and placed down some seeds. Painted the fence, uh, bark down here, painted that, and put up some like bamboo screening to hide the ugly parts of the fence. And then just painted the posts white. This is the living room. This one was a big job because of the fireplace. The fireplace took a lot of effort. And this is the after. <clears throat> pretty much replaced everything uh yeah painted everything new light new flooring new trim new curtains and yeah that fireplace took a long time had to become a plasterer figure out how to do plastering which is fun but yeah definitely a valuable skill to have another before of the living room and another after this is one of the far bedrooms. This is the smallest bedroom and the coldest bedroom. You can see like up on the roof, there is some damage to the wallpaper on the ceiling. <laughs> yep, there's wallpaper on the ceiling and it's horrible. You can see it in some places. There's like little bits of peeling back and like bubbles and stuff. I don't know why it was put there, but it's horrible. And this wood uh, wardrobe is still the original wood. So yeah, fixed all that. New curtains, new light, new paint, a uh, new uh, switch, which I put on a dimmer, and white wardrobe, new door handle, new floor. And yeah, pretty much followed the same theme throughout the house. I also chucked a heater, a little heater in that room because it is the coldest room in the house. This is the next bedroom. This bedroom was my bedroom, or uh, well, the one that I slept in. Um, yeah, pretty much the same as the others. Nice and ugly. And then, yeah, did all the same uh, renovations to it. Same theme throughout the whole house. I did buy these curtains first. So I, I bought full length ones. And then afterwards I decided to go for the, the non full length ones. So. There is a bit of mixy-matchy on that. And also on the first bedroom, I used a different kind of curtains. They're darker. Uh, yeah, I still hadn't made up my mind on which curtains I was going to get. So now a little bit mixy-matchy, but it doesn't really matter too much. It's just a, it's a rental property, so I don't think people are going to care that the curtains don't quite match. But yeah, I actually do think the full-length curtains look quite nice. And they would hold a lot more heat as well, I think. 
This is the laundry. It's one of the last things that I renovated because I still like cleaning all the paint trays and stuff in the laundry. And then this is the after. Um, oh, I did the taps quite early on. I had to get new taps to get the uh, washing machine outlet because those are the ones in the wall. I left them there, but they're not functional. They're way too old and painted over a hundred times. Uh, I made sure to seal with some silicone sealant around the bottom of the whole room. That way, if there's any leaks and stuff, it all gets, uh, well, doesn't get down the side and go onto the subfloor. So this, this lovely carpet, this was the master bedroom, a uh, reasonably good sized room, but also had uh, wallpaper on the ceiling. Uh, you can't see too many bits of damage, but there is some pretty bad uh, stuff up there, so I had to scrape that ceiling as well, unfortunately. And yeah, a little bit of peeling up there as well. Uh, yeah, that's the after, all the same theme. And yeah, it started to get quicker and quicker by the time I decided to do a few of these rooms. Uh, yeah, another before of the master bedroom. You can see how ugly it was inside the wardrobe there. And then afterwards, even inside the wardrobe is the same color and everything as the walls. And another heater in here because it's the master bedroom. <clears throat> this is a kitchen. I really hated this cabinet up here. I hit my head on it like 10 times. Um, surprisingly, I, I kept the oven. Um, it just didn't feel like it was cost effective to go removing it. So yeah, kept the oven, but everything else pretty much got ripped out, except for the stuff on the other side, the stuff you can't quite see. It's cabinets that I just painted up. So yeah, same oven, had to move it over so I could get the range hood above it. And then, yeah, all new cabinets, new sink, new uh, tapware, and backsplash. Chucked a blind in there, and a range hood, obviously, to make it Healthy Homes compatible. Uh, yeah, painted up all those cabinets on the left and added new handles. Oh, sorry, wrong way. So yeah, another view of the kitchen and another after another kitchen and those that's the cabinets on the right that I kept you can see I just kind of painted the whole fronts white and dark gray and yeah I also painted the insides white and then put down some it's actually vinyl flooring but I just put it in like over the bottom of the shelves just to make the shelves a bit nicer. If you're putting food in it, you kind of want it to be clean. Um, yeah, more of the kitchen. So this is the before for the bathroom. So you can see there's like this horrible uh, cabinet here. Um, I had to rip that out. Um, this whole place is moldy. Like this wood down here is rotten, like quite badly rotten. Uh, the whole house is on low pressure, so the taps are all hot and cold, no mixes. Um, yeah, this interesting beam up here, that wasn't very fun to plaster the whole, like, around that. <clears throat> That's after. Uh, pretty happy with how the bathroom turned out, to be honest. It was quite a mission to get done. Uh, I had to spend $5,000 on plumbing. It was the only contractor that I got in the plumber so everything else I did myself uh, even like installed the bath and everything myself built the bath cradle and everything uh, wasn't so fun but yeah it had to be done and a lot cheaper to do it myself I went for a like a stability bar so those things have like there's supposed to be like a grab handle bar for like in the shower or something but I've just used it as a towel rail that way it's not going to get pulled off the wall like the little flimsy towel rails do because um, children tend to dangle off of them and rip them off the wall so yeah I went for a nice solid one and made sure it was screwed straight into a beam with construction screws so I think coming out 
<clears throat> check the mirror up. The mirror is quite high. It was a uh, uh, yeah oversight on my part. I am um, the only place that I could put this bar was like right where it was because the beam is there, and then the next one down is way too far, like low. And then yeah, the mirror in order to get it to kind of have all it needed three screws to like hold it so that it wouldn't it'd be like fully secure and it wouldn't rock back and forth and that meant that I had to move it quite high up in order to catch one of the horizontal beams so a little bit unfortunate but yeah it's the shower shower of a bath so yeah nice new fixtures and everything a uh, bit of a mission getting that shower liner in there uh, I had some difficulties didn't quite line up so I had to put this bit of trim down the side metal trim follows the whole way down and I also have a bit of white trim down here that you can't really see but it's yeah, a bit of an oversight uh, measured everything before I'd taken the jib off and the liner off and put it back on everything so all the measurements were slightly off um, but yeah glad kind of glad that I did that because probably wouldn't have fit if I had a water bath that was exactly the right size to fit in the room but yeah, personally, I think it looks quite nice. This is the dining room. And yeah, after, same theme and everything. You can see outside the big tree that was in the middle is gone. Just this one tree here and another one the same on the other side. <coughs> and yeah, nice painted vents. It's the hallway. And all same theme. Nice heat pump in the uh, hallway there as well for heating the bedrooms. I had to install this door in the hallway and well, to block the hallway off from the kitchen because otherwise if you turn the heat pump on and you've got that door open and then it's heating the entire kitchen and dining room as well which is uh, it's not really going to have an effect on the bedrooms if it's doing all that space as well. Front door, I didn't replace the front door but likely in the future because it's currently a rental so if I ever have a tenant that doesn't return a key or something and I need to replace the locks at that point I'll probably just replace the entire door because it doesn't look so great and also there's like some gaps around the bottom of the door I had to put like a little uh, gap blocker down the bottom and there's like little little gaps down the side as well it'd be a lot better if it just uh, fitted in like with a pretty much an airtight seal like they do on the new doors these days so that'll be what I do uh, as soon as I have to like change any locks or anything I'll be just replacing the whole door and finally that's the toilet I didn't have a before photo of the toilet but I mean you probably don't really want to see a before photo of the toilet <laughs> it was pretty yuck um, I also did the same bead of silicone around the entire edge of the floor so any leaks or spillages don't soak down into the subfloor and all of this flooring is waterproof uh, except where I've got joins in it but there's no joins anywhere near the bathroom or the toilet so those ones are all waterproof around I was pretty concerned about um, yeah water soaking down into the subfloor so uh, I don't necessarily expect everyone to be as careful as I would be in my own house uh, another thing that I did in the bathroom I put in a really expensive extractor fan and you can't really see it it's it's just back a bit from the light um, and the so the extractor fan costs like 450 bucks or something but it has like at least triple the legal minimum extraction power and it's fully automatic so as soon as it senses uh, moisture in the air it just turns on so you jump in the shower you had the water running for about a minute then it'll start picking it up that it's that there's a uh, hot hot water in the air moisture in the air and the fan will turn on uh, it gets a little bit loud when it's at full power but the, um, as soon as you turn the water off like one minute and all the fog's gone from the mirror and everything like it's super quick it's crazy good I really like it 
um, that was probably the thing that I went most over budget on like I literally bought the most expensive fan I could find <laughs> that was my goal when I walked into Mitre 10 I believe it was I just said I'm gonna go for the most expensive fan <laughs> and that was it all the others like there was some in like the couple hundred dollar ranges or some like expensive ones that didn't even have like the specs to match but yeah that one because it's a rental property I really wanted to uh, play it safe and yeah I was pretty happy with that purchase especially like I, I used it I showered in there and made sure that it actually worked properly and everything and yeah that's pretty much it off my house um, yeah going real well real well I uh, intend to do another renovation next time I get the chance as soon as I can afford another mortgage and all that um, yeah, I currently rent the house out for $495 per week, and it is cash flow neutral. So any uh, mortgage pay down is like profit on my net worth. And uh, yeah, any capital gains is uh, good to see, but not necessarily essential. Uh, yeah, so 30, more, 29 more years, I'll own this house outright much with minimal more contributions on my part except for if there's any vacancies or maintenance or big repairs in which case yeah I'll we'll have to fork out the money for it but yeah pretty happy with how it turned out and yeah thanks for watching have a great day see ya